everybody, welcome to um, Brick Pops React, you're me BP1 and Mr. Clumsy BP2 over there. <laughs> the um, juggler. The juggler. Uh, we're back with George Strait and Alan Jackson, so we yeah. did Alan not too long ago with his 9-11 tribute, um, and then we also had uh, George Strait that we've done once on the channel, quite yep. core, in a hardcore country um, sort of musicians that us Brits sort of look at, not that we've really... I've only ever heard George once. That's what we've done yep. on the channel, and Alan vaguely, but uh, not much. But this one's for Jason Overman. Thanks for um, your Cheers, Jason. Uh, request for a murder on Music Row live uh, from the Aerodrome in 2003, I believe, is the version we've got. Okay. So get your country hats on. Wonder where he's going with that. Let's see what happens, because you know, country's not really our thing. But, it's not, uh, and I think this is more the traditional country, which is yeah. what the song is about, from my oh, notes down so here. So hard. it could be a hard one for us, Brits. All right. Never know. Got, we're I'll add a bit try. more as we go along. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we surprised ourselves. I mean, the Alan Jackson one, although we, we enjoyed that. So let's yeah, see we did, where yeah. we go. All right, here we go. Then. Wow, that's a crowd, mate. Nobody saw him running from 16th Avenue. They never found a fingerprint or the weapon that was used. But someone killed country music, cut out its heart and soul. They got away with murder And all music roll The almighty dollar And the lust for worldwide fame Slowly killed tradition And for that someone should hang Interesting. Yeah, yeah. We all say not guilty, but the evidence will show that murder was committed. A music Down right? on music road. Anyway, there you go. That's what that's happens the when you country has on him. <laughs> well, <clears throat> what can we say? You say, so I cough. Okay. Uh, I mean, again, yep. Uh, as soon as it started, very, very traditional country music, uh, which is what the song is all about. They are singing about the death of country music as it was known and the sort of rise of the more country pop style. Right. Okay. Country. Interesting. Well, it, you know, is it really my thing? Not really. It's not the sort of thing I'm going to go and Spotify listen to. Uh, yeah, I'll be totally honest. No, no, no Noel Gallagher, put it that way. Um, okay. <laughs> however, I mean, I do credit both these guys because they can really yep. sing. Um, you know, yep. in that country traditional Countries. voice. You know, it really is traditional country. It's the stuff that I've never really thought i particularly enjoyed and i'm not going to lie because i don't particularly enjoy it but yeah. i have respect for it um and I, I when i look at something like this i always look at it like i'm watching like a tv show or something it's not something that's like completely resonates to me but it's something that i'm interested to understand because it's yep. like yep. You're yeah not going to write it off straight away just because you don't know about it no give it a go. Yeah, you've yeah. got the hats the shirts the yep. jeans the belts that there is a, a complete I don't know what it is around it that yeah, yeah. has a, a form to it yes. country okay yeah yeah and, and that's what I'm interested in, in learning uh, and understanding more than this traditional sound that I hear which is good but it's not yeah. I mean it, I think but yeah I, I like you say as soon as it started up you had the traditional sort of fiddle this you know the lap steel guitar given in the, the sort of whaley uh, and the voices which is you know uh what we sort of as soon as somebody says country music this is what we what we go to 
Uh, we have done other songs on the channel, uh, Hank Williams Jr., and we enjoyed that style. Family of it, tradition, know. mate. Family tradition. Yeah, if you didn't hear that, that one, um, yep, so. that's one I did was part of our uh, marathon. That sounds very much to this, like this. Yep. It's quite predictable. You know, like I said, you know, because it rhymes yes. quite well. You know it's quite yep. predictable on what's what's there. But hats, hats off to them. Oh yeah, or on big hats. Big, big, Let's crack big, it on. Big I'll on. add a little bit more as we go along. Thank but, you, uh, and barely play. But drums and rock and roll guitars are mixed up in your face. Oh Hank, he wouldn't have a chance. On today. Since they committed murder Down on Music Row They thought no one would miss it Once it was dead and gone They said no one would buy them more Drinking and cheating song Oh, I still buy them drinking song, George yeah. <laughs> There ain't no justice in it And we hold oh, back to court oh, yeah, yeah. That murder was committed Down He wouldn't have a chance on today's radio. There you go. Wow. He can it, yeah. sing it. Oh, they can sing. I'll give them that. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's almost like um, a foot. Well, it's like a foot tapper, isn't it? It's like a, just mm -hmm. a traditional sort of chilled. Yeah. I think it's because we're just not. There's an environment thing around this as well with country music. I think yep. it fits very well. It's a if lifestyle, I was, isn't it? It's a lifestyle. If I was in that lifestyle, I could see, I could feel it. Yeah. But we've got a very different lifestyle. Yeah. Um, you know, absolute chalk and cheese. You know, to to what I get up when I get up in the morning and my whole daily routine to somebody that was in country. Mm -hmm. So, but I I see where it fits, and that's the interest for me. I'm interested in 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 that rather than. Yeah. The, the, the lifestyle that, that the surrounds sound. it yeah 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 i mean you know the first thing obviously uh, to note is we don't get up and put on a stetson and 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 you know uh, our um plaid shirt but it, it you can tell you know what they're what they're going on about here that the country music moved on but then yeah that happened with most music you know rock and roll turned into something else which then turned into heavy metal which you know everything evolves from something and it and does the, the the younger generation took what they knew of country and turned it into country pop, which is what they what they w were wanting at the time. You know, um, it doesn't mean that country music died. It just means that a different generation took it on, I guess. Um, so, Murder on Music Row uh, was written in 1999 by song uh, writers Larry Cordell and Larry Shell, and and as it says, it's a story about how the rise of country pop. And the accompanying decline of the traditional country music sound uh it refers to music row which is an area in nashville tennessee considered the epicenter of country music industry um well think, we did yeah. shania twain not long ago and we sort yeah. of said she was one of the instigators of country pop certainly in yeah. those like nine in the 90s for sure in the 90s yeah 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 um yeah which sort of brought it on but it's, i think it's probably brought it to mainstream radios across the world uh, a type of country rather than a traditional country song that just wouldn't have got uh, as, sort of as you mentioned play. there you know Hank you wouldn't get on the radio you know these days so no, yeah, yeah, yeah. interesting uh, and then finally I said you know the, the song was covered by country music artists George Strait and Alan Jackson 
Originally, the two singers performed the song together at the 1999 Country Music Awards. Okay. Country Music Association Awards show, sorry. CMAs. Fair enough. There it is. All right, let's keep going. Uh, we'll give it a score. Okay, Yeah. Since they committed murder Down on music road Good job, sirs. They sung that well. They did, yeah. yeah. They did do a good job. Uh, and there's a bit of humour in, in those lyrics as well, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, tell the possum to pack up and get home. You know, go <laughs> it's, it's all over for you, possum. You can't be listening to it. Uh, hilarious. Um, no. Is it my thing? Not really. Is, is yep. it offensive? No. No. Nope. It's just there. It's just on. I'm happy to just listen to it. So uh, we always score, don't we, at Britpop's React? So we do I give it a go. Give for it. Our sins. I'd give it a seven. Seven okay. out of ten for me. It's, it's a, a nice standard sort of song. Uh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm with you on that one. Uh, it, it didn't make me jump off my seat or get, get moving in a grooving, which is not a pretty sight. But. Um, as country music goes, I listened to it and I enjoyed it. So yeah, I'll come in at about seven point four, so seven point two up there. Seven point the two, all right, yeah, no worries, just getting that relaxed light. Seven point two, there we go. Um there you from go. us at Brit Pots React. Uh thanks for joining us. Uh thanks for the shout out. Um shout out, thanks for the uh what recommendation request. That's the one. Cheers, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> uh keep them coming oh. in the comments. Uh, where should we go next with our country? You know? Mm. What's the next step up from that? That's really traditional. Do we Something yeah. with a bit of a kick. I don't know. Something different. Let us know. Let us know. Um, what's the word? Educate us. There you go. Educate, Educate us. us. Beautiful. Us nice one. Until tomorrow for another reaction. It's goodbye from me over there. Goodbye from him over there. Possums. Murder. <laughs> He's a 20th century boy.